School starts in less than a month and safety is top of mind for local leaders. One of the first items of business, making school zones safer. 13 Action News traffic anchor Zora Asbury shows you the improvements happening in one part of the valley. F turned on the traffic signal here at the intersection of Durango and Gomer, allowing students to press this crosswalk, go across the street and make it safely to their school zone. This is a very heavily trafficked intersection. More than 15,000 cars uh, every day go through this intersection. But I think more importantly, we have a lot of people who walk, who ride their bike, and most importantly, uh, students uh, to and from Wright Elementary School. The new traffic signal sits in the middle of the Mountain's Edge community on the southwest side of town, which has seen a great deal of new development over recent years, including several residential neighborhoods with school-aged children that attend Wright Elementary under the direction of Principal Dr. Maribel McAdoo. We're so happy to have this extra tool to help us keep our students safe. I know we have a lot of walkers and a lot of uh, riders and we've always been concerned and this is going to be so exciting for us all. Just we're so excited for just the safety of our kids and getting them to and from school. Commissioner Jones of District F says this intersection is a hot spot for speeders and before today was considered a fairly dangerous intersection with lots of construction. All it takes is a split second of, of taking your eyes off the road to uh, hurt or, or kill a, a student, a cyclist, or another motorist. So slow down, uh, be alert, and uh, if, you're a, if you're a pedestrian or a cyclist or, or a student, make sure you use the, the uh, tools that are out there and uh, use the crosswalks. Don't cross mid-block. After over a year off due to COVID, many students will physically return to school for the first time in a long time, and it's the county's goal to make sure the walks to and from campus are as smooth and safe as possible. We're really making a lot of efforts to make, make sure the students feel welcome and happy and loved when they get back to school because that's what they need right now, and we're just super excited, and this is just the icing on the cake. Jaywalking is against the law and could lead to big fines, so it's important to educate your kids of Nevada's traffic laws before the school year begins. Reporting Zora Asbury, 13 Action News.